Hi right, guys, welcome back to my Xvious guide. Now I'm gonna guide you on this, okay? In the name of love, okay? I will talk about items recommendation, shopping guide after this battle guide, okay? So I don't think you will have problem, but yeah, I just simply point out strategy here, okay? So party four or less. So I will only use for party, okay? So for friends, try to search, yeah, agree us because Agrias is really good because she has full break, so it is really important. Okay, so this one is really okay, very strong Agrias. So let's choose this Taylor as our friend. Okay, so make sure your Agrias don't equip like an art elemental weapon. Okay, so the, here are my party. I use Ashi because I need to, yeah, I will explain it in the battle. So let's just begin. It won't be hard, okay. If you have problem, remember to farm on the pro difficulty. As long as you bring one more bonus character, the pro will able to, yeah, give you more more white orbs than elite okay so the first battle is this black mage these two are not dangerous so okay let's just kill them they only use tier 1 and tier 2 spell so you don't need to worry about it that much okay so i believe blood blitz will kill them easily okay yep On the second battle, so this Ghidra has Ice and Wind weakness, so make sure you use, use that as your advantage, okay? So this one may be a little bit tanky, okay, so for newbie players, so make sure you inflict full break on it if you're not able to kill it on one turn. After you inflict full break, it won't deal like you can see only 200 damage and yeah pretty little damage so i don't think you will have problem with this one as long as you have inflicted full break so let's just kill this tim tip yep the third battle is also same it is tiamat you also yeah simply make sure you inflict full break and you are good to go full break Okay, so tap tap. Hey, hurry, attack me. Three bread. See, only 100. So let's just healing here. Heaven's Fury. Okay. Tap tap tap. Kill it. Okay, so the fourth battle after this. I forgot the name. Uh, Hasmo. Okay, this this monster able to cause stop so but yeah that's just his that's his most dangerous ability so full break he will use bind so if you have problem maybe yeah you can bring fun but his damage is one dangerous too because like you can see, as long as you have full break, then this battle is pretty pretty easy, okay? So let's just kill him using Cleansing Strike to save our MP for the final battle. Cleansing Strike. Okay, tap tap tap. Okay, so this is really important now, okay? First, you need to inflict full break no matter what to this high Seraph Ultima. Because if not, I believe you will be dead. <coughs> Sorry. Full break. <coughs> okay. After you have inflicted full break on all of them. Okay, so sorry, sorry, guys. Mm, after you have inflicted full break on them, make sure you buff your spirit. If you have warrior of light, then bring him because 
his debuff is much better than full break. You can use arms eraser to lower the damage. So let's here use meditate to boost our spirit. If not, then I believe. Okay, grand cross. This one is the reason you want to have an ailments resistant or yeah. Okay. Like you can see, it is pretty dangerous. So I will use my North Wind Glow to recover from the bad stats. Okay, so I kill both of. So High Seraph Ultima has a pattern. Okay, so from my from my observation, she will do um, normal attack and then Ultima, normal attack and then Grand Cross. That's her attack pattern. Okay, so like you can see. She will use Ultima, so she will never use Drain Cross to turn strike. So let's use Heaven's Fury. So I will gonna show you his her attack pattern. Okay, like you can see normal attack. So after this, she should use um, she should use Grand Cross. Okay, so killing her with limit burst so I will just defend and defend again okay like you can see grand cross so remember the pattern grand cross normal attack grand cross normal attack ultima and then repeat so yeah make sure you pay attention to that so let's okay 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 wait 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 I don't want to kill her so where's my remedy Yep. so like you can see that yeah it is not hard okay so let's just kill her now so I can move to the items guide divine ruination and limit break Bam, I believe it will kill yep very easy I don't think you will have problem remember I only use this for four persons in this battle okay so I believe you can do that as long as you have full break on your party so in my opinion the MVP for this battle is Warrior of Light. Or yeah, maybe Link if you have Link. Basically, if you able to reduce their attack, then yeah, it is pretty easy. Link is also yeah, Link Link is probably the MVP because she also able to recover your parties from ailments. So yep, yeah, all missions complete. So I think that's all about no no wait wait I will show you my equipment. So yeah okay. Mm so yeah I I know that I have some trustmaster on my so I have Raven on my SC because I need her to recover others from ailments. Also if you have um, Elias you can bring him to this battle because Elias able to use immunization so grand cross won't affect your party okay so you will be safe the biggest problem on this battle is that ailments if you're able to handle that and keep your spirit and debuff their magic you will win okay so yeah like you can see agrias it is pretty normal i equip like shield to get defense and spirit bonus and okay this is my Strong Agrias, not so much, but yeah. So I think that's all. Let's talk about the items, the shopping guide, okay? Okay, so first let's talk about the exclusive. The first is Swill Crossblade. The name is same as previous dagger from the Final Fantasy 12. The stats is also about the same. However, I think, okay, the price is quite expensive here. 12,000 white orbs okay so if you just start the game then this weapon is very good because you get huge attack bonus but i don't think dagger is nice weapon because there is no equipable dagger mastery ability on the game yet however if you don't mind about that go ahead it will be useful for newbie virion and other characters who gets benefit by equipping dagger yeah, or don't need specific 
weapon to get attack boost from their passive. So for example, Agrias. Okay, Agrias doesn't need to equip sword or anything to get attack passive. So this dagger still works good on her. Also, this weapon has a chance to inflict sleep. So this one is definitely good for arena battle. The next is Defender. It is great sword with no element. It has 5% evasion rate, which is not that high, but it is still useful for a character who have innate evasion and able to equip great sword. For example, is yeah Noctis. Also, if you haven't obtained Apocalypse, then this one will be yeah probably the best free to play non-elemental great sword in the game. My suggestion for you is yeah buy it. The price is very cheap, only four thousand for plus sixty five swords, so it is definitely good deal here. Okay, now let's talk about the exclusive abilities. The first is March. Okay, so it boosts attack and magic by five percent and MP by ten percent. I don't think it is useful though because small amount of attack and magic boost. And the MP is not that essential, so I think you should skip this one. I know this one is cheap, but why buy it if you if you are never gonna use it? Okay. So the second is vigilance. It boosts your defense and spirit and MP. Okay. So it may be nice for a healer with MP regen. For example, Tilit. This one can help you to make her MP regen bigger, so you don't need to worry about using her MP battery skill. However, if you don't have till it, I don't think you should bother with this. But yeah, it is just me, okay? So if you think you are gonna use this, then buy it. But it's it is bad in my opinion. The third is regenerator. I don't think you should buy this, okay? In theory, it is nice for your tanker, but the regen amount is small, okay, for spirit modifier. So I think it is better to equip defense and spirit boost instead of this one. Not mentioning it only has 20% chance to be triggered. So no, big no here, okay. The price is also very expensive, 10,000 white orbs. Are you crazy, Gummy? However, let's say that my co- I am wrong, okay? So maybe it heals you 2,000 health per turn. So if that happens, then maybe you can buy it, but I doubt that will happen, okay? The last ability is reactive defense. In theory, it is good, but the chance is also small, 20%, and it only affects you alone. I think if you really need damage mitigation, then simply use Riku. I know that this may be useful for Warrior of Light because he can protect all your party members, but yeah, with only 20% chance, I don't think so. If you don't have Riku, then simply use Sakura because her skill affects all and you can cast it anytime, not waiting and hoping like this, okay? The price is also expensive. So yeah, it is no for me, but it's all it is all up to you. In my opinion, both of these global exclusives are bad, so yeah, I suggest you to stay away from them. So you can see my recommendation here. I think you may want to purchase that Metal Gigantua first to level up your Agrias if you have her, okay? So if you have Agrias and she is still at low level, you may want to level up her so she won't become a burden on your party in this farming event. She is really good for this trial, I mean farming event because of full break and divine ruination. Yeah, it it will make her very strong because I believe most of your friends are using Agrias 2 as their leader. So as long as they don't use like elemental weapon, you can chain with yours easily. Also, I think you better to stop that giant Chris instead of pure Chris because yeah, from now on, we probably gonna get one story event each month. So I don't think we will need pure Chris more than giant Chris. Remember, one, two, three, or four ratio. 
for every one pure crease you have, you need to have four giant crease. So just follow that rule, okay? I think that's all you need to know for this event. So, yep, thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brave X Fuse Guide. Bye bye, guys.